Hi, this is Samuel Patterson, Applications Engineer for Knox Machinery. The following procedure outlines the necessary steps to calibrate the tool eye on Mazak Quick Turn Series Turning Centers. On a smooth G control, you'll first navigate to the position page and then hit the left arrow two times in order to get to the parameters button, which is located along the right side of the ribbon at the bottom of the screen. From the user parameters page, you'll want to navigate to the machine parameters found at the top middle of the screen. The BA parameters can then be found along the top ribbon of buttons on the right hand side of the screen. The parameters to calibrate the tool eye can be found here in BA 95 through 99. And the values of those parameters will be documented here in the calibration worksheet. To prep the machine, we're first going to load our stock, sticking out about one inch from the chuck, as well as setting up a turning tool for doing our test cuts. We're also going to set up the 1 inch diameter X calibration tool, as well as the 1 inch thick Z calibration tool. And notice the difference in how it's set up from the cutting tool. With the tools loaded in the machine, we'll then go to the tool data page and register each tool according to how it's set up in the machine. Note that for the special tools, you will need to add a second tool to that turret position in order to touch these off properly. Now we need to go ahead and measure our OD cutting tool in both the X and Z directions. With the tool loaded, we now need to set the zero for the stock that we loaded into the machine earlier. From the position screen, you'll press the left arrow and then select Setup Info to navigate to the Setup Info page. At the Setup Info page, we're first going to set our Z offset to zero and then for the jaws, we're going to select Jaws Not Mounted. On an EZ control, the process is a little different and first requires you to go to the program screen. Once we're at the program screen, we're going to go into program edit mode. Staying on the common line, we're then going to hit the left arrow button and then press the setup data button located in the center left side of the screen. Here you enter the data exactly as you would if you were running a smooth G. Now that we have all the tool and part information recorded in the control, we can now move the cutting tool down into position in front of the part so that we can set the amount of stock sticking out of the chuck. Once our tool is slightly off center and 30 thousandths in front of the part zero, we'll grab the material, unclamp the chuck, and hold the material against the cutting edge of the tool, then reclamp the chuck to set the part length with some facing stock. With our Z offset at zero, we'll go ahead and make a face cut on the part in order to determine our 100 millimeter BA99 check dimension. After choosing a nice round number for the X dimension, we'll then go ahead and make a cut along the OD of the part. We then need to record that same X dimension into the target OD field of the tool eye calibration worksheet. After taking a precise measurement on the outside diameter of the part, we're then going to plug that value here into the measured OD field of the calibration worksheet. Note that when we hit enter, the value automatically changes to give us our corrected BA97 value, which then gets entered into the machine parameters. After first noting the size of the calibration tool we loaded earlier, we're then going to extend the tool arm and touch that tool off of the X dimension as shown above. This will give us the ID tool A dimension that we'll record in the worksheet later. Moving to the second offset for that position, we'll then touch the calibration tool off the other side of the X sensor, and that'll give us the other dimension to be entered into the worksheet. And again, we will enter those values into the worksheet to give us our corrected parameter value. To calibrate BA99, we're now going to use the other calibration tool that we loaded and touch that off in the Z direction as shown above. This will give us the first Z position to be entered into the worksheet later. With the Z at zero, it'll put us about 100 millimeters from the chuck, but to check, we'll use a 1, 2, 3 block, which should put us at a position of Z minus 937. And the difference from 937 to our measured dimension gets entered here. 
There is an alternate method for setting the BA99, and it involves using the machine setup page to pre-calculate some of the math that we'll use that'll make it easier to find our 100 millimeter dimension. From the machine setup page, instead of setting the Z offset to zero, you'll instead set it to minus 2.937. This makes both the math easier, as you no longer have to back figure for 100 millimeters, but is also easier to measure physically since you can use a 1 inch block instead of a cumbersome 3 inch block as seen above. To calibrate BA96, we'll use the same tool that we use for BA99. And all we have to do is touch off of the Z positive sensor. This will give us the second dimension we need to calibrate BA96. Just as before, we'll enter those values into the worksheet to get our new BA-96. This concludes the calibration process on a Mazak Quick Turd Series Turning Center. Feel free to repeat any step of this process in order to get the most accurate results. For any questions, please contact Knox or Mazak Applications.